In this video, let's look at binary multiplication. It's very important that you have a good understanding of binary addition and conversion before looking at this video. Okay, let's start off with having a look at uh, what happens when we're multiplying a couple of binary numbers. Okay, so we've got 111, which is the binary for 7, and 10, which is the binary for 2. So obviously, if we're going to have 7 multiplied by 2, we're going to get 14. And writing this in binary will give us 1, 1, 1, 0. And so an observation we can make here is that all that's happened is we've taken our original number and we've moved them all to the left one column and we've added a zero at the end. Another way of looking at it is that by multiplying by one zero that is the value of two so we're multiplying everything here by two so we're multiplying the four by two so that goes in the eight column multiplying the 2 by 2, so that goes in the 4 column, and we're multiplying the 1 by 2, and that goes in the 2 column. And then, of course, there's nothing left over in the 1 column. So multiplying 1, 1, 1 by 1, 0, 0 would give us our two zeros, and then the three ones. So here we have a couple of examples that we'll go through quickly. Using the uh, result from the previous page. So we have 1, 0, 1, 1 multiplied by 1, 1. Now, the best thing to do here is to split this up. So if you split this up, we will have 1, 0, 1, 1 multiplied by 1, 0. And we know what the result of this is going to be. We're going to have a 0 followed by 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, so we can write that in here 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. The next one, we're going to have 1, 0, 1, 1 multiplied by 1. Because the 1, 1 here is equal to 1, 0 plus 1. So it's just splitting it up. And multiplying our 1, 0, 1, 1 by 1 isn't going to change that value at all. We're just going to have 1, 0, 1, 1. And so we're going to put that back into here. So now we've got our two numbers from the multiplication and we need to add those up. 0 plus the 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry forward the 1. 1 plus 0. We've got the two ones in this column. Which means we're going to end up with carry forward the 1 and a 0 two ones in this column, so we're going to carry the forward and a zero, and two ones in the next column, carry forward the one and a zero. So the final answer is one, four zeros and a one. For the next one, we have one, one, zero, one, one, multiplied by one, one, zero. And again, we can get those split up so that we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, multiplied by 1, 0, 0. And the next one is going to be 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, multiplied 
by 1, 0. And that's because our 1, 1, 0 is equal to 1, 0, 0 plus 1, 0. So first of all, we have our two zeros, and then 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Let's just transfer that across. So zero zero one one zero one one and from the other calculation we have our zero followed by one one zero one one and transfer that in so we can sum the two together. So what zero one one zero one one and so the last thing to do is to sum those two together so we have zero one zero carry forward the one two ones together so that's zero carry forward the one two ones together so that's zero carry forward the one three ones together so that's a one carry forward the one two ones together, that's a zero, carry forward the one. So the final answer, one zero one zero 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 one zero. Here are some questions for you to try out uh, based on what you've seen so far. So do pause the video now, have a go at them and then press play and check your answers. OK, check your answers with these ones here. If there are any problems, just have a look back through your working out. Uh, see your teacher about it or even leave a comment on the YouTube channel to ask a question.